one. The Patriots lost some key members of their Super Bowl roster yesterday. Offensive lineman Trent Brown became the highest paid tackle in the league by signing a four-year, $66 million deal with the Raiders. And defensive end Trey Flowers is also changing addresses. He'll sign a five-year deal with the Lions, which will reunite him with former Patriot defensive coordinator Matt Patricia. That's interesting. Another former Patriot, Danny Amendola, reportedly had mutual interest with New England for a reunion, but he also chose to go to Detroit. So, Shannon, mm. how much will these losses hurt New England? Not one mm. iota. Mm. The one thing the Patriots do, they 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 plan for situations Seriously. like this. Huh. They, Skip, they're not going to sign a bad contract. And this is what you know about the Patriots since Coach Belichick has been there. Mm -hmm. If he wants you, you're not leaving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do a whole lot of these franchise tags yep. because they're not going to, hey, mm -hmm. Coach Belichick has a value of what he thinks you're worth. Mm -hmm. And if that franchise tag is over what he thinks you're worth, we'll go test the market. Mm -hmm. And if you get, a, get the value more than what we think you're worth, mm -hmm. have a good time. Mm -hmm. Skip, <clears throat> let's take the left tackle. Skip, he played really well. He had an, all, he had an outstanding season. But let's not pretend like he's Walter Jones or Jonathan Ogden. They did draft Isaiah Wynn to be their starting left tackle, and he got hurt. Now he Tore, towards Achilles. Right. Yeah. So now he comes back. Yep. You know, good skip, you know good where New England was never gonna give him no four years, sixty-six million dollars with almost forty million dollars guaranteed. Isn't that make him the highest paid offensive lineman in the ever, history, ever? history of the game. And, wow. the, and then uh, uh, Trey Flowers. Yep. Skip, a lot of this, look, Trey Flowers is a solid guy. Mm -hmm. But a lot of this has to do with trying to bring someone from New England that understands the culture, mm -hmm. winning, bring him into that locker room. Because it was re reported that that locker room despised mm -hmm. Matt Patricia. Yeah. They did not like him at all, and that's being kind. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. media might have liked him less. Less. Go ahead. So well. bring someone in there to mm -hmm. understand who he is, what he's, what he's about, okay. yep. what it takes to win, who's been there and done that. But these are system guys. Mm. Now, Coach Belichick does a great job of identifying guys that's going to re work really well. He might not ever have to get a Von Miller or Aaron Donald because sometimes I think people think that Trey Flowers was Aaron Donald. He's a good player, a solid player. Mm-hmm. But he ain't going to move no needles now. Mm -hmm. He's not Khalil Mack. Mm -hmm. Coach right. Belichick does a great job going into the draft, identifying a guy, and says, okay, I think this guy is smart. He plays hard, mm -hmm. snap the whistle. He can work with us. Mm -hmm. That's what Coach Belichick does. Mm -hmm. When they want you, they sign you way early, like they did Gronk, and they get you for 50 cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. They don't let you get to the tail end of your contract when they really want you. They let Devin McCourty get to the end, but guess where Devin McCourty's at? In New England, because they wanted him there. That's true. So they're not going to miss a beat. Mm -hmm. all, everybody in New England on the day-to-day -day operation, Skip, is replaceable, except two people, Bill Belichick and number 12. Mm -hmm. As long as those two are not going anywhere, New England Patriots are going to be just, just, just fine. Mm -hmm. So to your point, most teams would consider yesterday a really dark day in the history of their <laughs> franchise because they lost a left tackle who played as well as any left tackle in football. Yep. I never even heard his name called all year, nope, right? I didn't either. It was it. quiet over there, which is a great thing for yep. a left tackle, yep. right? Yep. That's a good point. They lost their best pass rusher mm -hmm. yesterday, and they lost a shot at one of the clutchest receivers bringing him back in the history of the franchise and Danny Amendola, mm -hmm. who also went to Detroit. Right. Bang, 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 and, and I'm with you on your conclusion. As long as you still have the 42-year-old quarterback, <laughs> and I'll give you the head coach, you're, you're just fine. Yeah. And by the way, very quietly, a few days back, they did trade for one Michael Bennett, and I think that weakened slightly your Philadelphia Eagles, since your Fly Eagles fly, that weakened that defense a little bit because Belichick gave a fifth for him, got a seventh in return. That's the new way. you know. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, we'll trade you this, but you like, got to give us that. that? Yeah. Okay, but whatever. Michael Bennett had nine sacks last year. Yeah. Michael Bennett is 33 years of age. Michael Bennett is scheduled to make $7.2 million, which is not breaking the bank. That's not a whole lot of money. And I think you just replaced Trey Flowers. He's he's he doesn't play the way he's more of an outside. He's more than outside. An inside guy. I, I got you, but he's still in impact. We'll yeah. replace oh, Trey Flowers' impact. Absolutely. So that was a really sweet move by Bill Belichick. And I gotta give Belichick I, I'm hard on him sometimes on this show, but I gotta give him credit for this. 
he went and snatched or stole Trent Brown from San Francisco. Remember, Trent Brown had been there for three years, and he was originally a seventh-round draft mm. pick out of Florida. Right. Okay. And had been hadn't done much for them, right. kind of been in and out of the lineup. And they had to, on the fly, throw him in at left tackle. Now we're back to the Dante Scarnecchia factor mm -hmm. in New England. He is simply the best who's probably ever done it mm -hmm. as an offensive line coach. And he did it again. He took underachieving Trent Brown right. and turned him into an achiever, right? And if whatever I, they gave up for him, they're going to get a third-round compensatory pick. Okay. So they let all these guys go out the door because Coach Belichick says, you know what, I'm mm -hmm. going to get a pick to replace you. Yep. And I'm not the, – the one thing we know about Coach Belichick, Skip, mm -hmm. he's not overpaying. Yep. No. He says, this guy's worth a dime. Mm -hmm. If somebody offers you 11 cents, you gone. Okay. So think about this. Trent Brown, drafted in the seventh round, then Belichick gets him for a third, but they got back a fifth. That's one of those deals right. again, but not, not a huge price to pay. He turns into maybe the best left tackle in football for one year right. because you needed a stopgap right. before Isaiah Wynn came back. And then he goes and becomes the highest paid offensive lineman ever. Coach Belichick says, okay, but think about this, Skip. I get my third round pick back and I won a Super Bowl. Yep. Okay. How you beat, Skip, how you beat that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I gave you a third to get him. Mm -hmm. You gave me a fifth back. I get my third back, and we won, and I don't have to overpay to keep mm -hmm. it. And by the way, I just got to throw this in. Mm -hmm. Detroit also yesterday gave $9 million a year to a cornerback named Justin Coleman, who had sort a of slot a, corner yeah, at that. He's a slot corner, but he played 10 games in New England yeah. for these guys who are right. now in Detroit, so they know him from okay. New England. But $9 million? I'm sure that's the one where Belichick probably sat back and said, what are those guys doing? That's the thing about free agency. And I tell people this, free agency is not about being good. Mm -hmm. It's about being free. Right, right place, timing. right time. That, and see, that's what get these guys that's on the contract so upset. Mm -hmm. They're looking like, bruh, yeah. I done been to five, six Pro Bowls. I've been to three, four-time first-team All-Pro. And that dude got that? Mm. Skip, them guys looking like, mm. Man, did you see what Trent Brown got? It's hmm. crazy. Tyron right. Smith probably looking at the hold on. Hold up, Jerry. Hold mm. up, Jerry. Mm. I know you're thinking about doing all these other guys' contract, but he ain't – that 77 can't hold a candle to this 77. Yep. So Ooh. Detroit also signed one Danny Amendola, sure. and I'm sure Tom Brady just hung his head and yeah. sighed and shook it because he, I'm sure he would have loved to have Danny Amendola he, back. Skip, he would have. But Danny Amendola had to take a pay cut his last two years to stay in New England. Why would I take a pay – Skip, this team – what do you get, $5.7 million so you can make up to 5.7? Why would I go there to take minimum? That's tough, yeah. That's the thing, Skip. That's what I keep telling you. These guys – and Trent Brown, he's like, dude, hold on. $50 million, I'm going to be the highest paid. Trey Flowers, like – Winning Super Bowls are great, Skip. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, how you walk away from that kind of money? Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Danny Emma don't like. My last two years, they took money from me mm -hmm. just to stay. Huh. Yeah. And you actually think I'm going to go, because that's what they're going to offer minimum. They're going to offer minimum with some incentives. He can make a couple of million dollars. But look, Danny, you gonna, you know what we do here. We win. Danny said, yeah, I'm going to win up in Detroit with this almost $6 million. <laughs> That's where I'm going to win at. Definitely mm. winning there. He already had the Patriot experience. And that's the thing, Skip. After you don't want, I mean, Trey Flowers won two Super Bowls. Uh, it's How many Super Bowls do you need before you start saying, I mean, Brady is, is, is another thing. Brady's trying to stack sure. trying to stack rings. Nobody's going to catch him. But when you're a guy like Trey, Skip, mm -hmm. 15 years from now, unless you're a diehard New England Patriot fan, you probably won't even remember who he is. Mm -hmm. But when he got on this palatial estate in Florida yeah. <laughs> on, on six acres and got all this money, He's like, man, I made a great decision. Mm. And he got two Super Bowl rings, mm -hmm. five and six. Yep. So he good. He good, Skip. Mm. So now we're back to what I think Belichick believes, because I believe it, and that is Tom Brady could win with three guys from Dorchester. He could pick them out of the oh, stands. Don't do that, Skip. Don't huh? do that. I'll take that. you, you, and you. Can you guys put some pads on and come down here you know and we'll what, win this game? You know what makes Still. me upset? You yeah. know what, Giddy, this is what makes me upset, Tell with me. Skip, is that the moment they lose is that these guys are trash. But these trash guys, one of them was Super Bowl MVP, yeah. and it happens to be. Huh. Who was it, Skip Bayless? 33-year-old Julian Edelman. From Dorchester. How mm -hmm. does a guy from Dorchester get to be immortalized as a Super Bowl MVP? 
Because well, guess what? As everybody else knows except you, Tom Brady should have been the MVP. No, he should. Oh, he threw a 29-yard pass to Gronkowski that won the game. Even Jenny. Won the game. I, I and you know.